Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 460 of Factorio with the Z-Block mod. Where we have finished producing uh, nuclear fuel, in between episodes I went and fixed most of our outposts to actually have space for nuclear fuel and also requested to all the trains. I did not, however, empty all of the trains for their fuel. As we can see here, this train still have, has a thousand charcoal in it and no nuclear fuel. And that's the case with almost all of the trains. But all of the trains that we will make from now on will be with nuclear fuel. And that should just help a bunch with speed and so on. And slowly the old trains will get there as well. Let's just put this in there. Put these there as well. And grab these three because they're not needed. Oh. So we are basically done. I think we have more than enough nuclear fuel. I don't think we actually need to scale this any higher. At least for now. I might be wrong about that, but we'll see. Also, we have more, more research to do. Might as well get that one out of the way. Okay, so this is done. But what is the next step for us? I guess it is going towards launching rockets. And we decided to make this at an outpost. And I feel like we wanted something else at an outpost. This is needed for satellites, the rockets, the rocket silos. Where are we going to make the satellites? Is that going to be made where we also launch the rockets? We need this for it as well. We need more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Mm. I feel like this should be made by itself. Because then we can also make radars there. Yeah. But let's just start with this stuff. Because we do need it for more things, I think. All of this, yeah. Okay, so that is definitely going in an outpost. And we're just gonna continue down here with making more outposts. Sure thing. Let's just go home first for a potential refill and getting rid of some junk. I guess these are junk now. We wanted to use upgraded ones. And those should not go there. Anything we want to get rid of? Not that I see. Nothing more coming. Good. Let's send this down to where we need it to go. Or where we need to go ourselves, I guess. Just to have some extra stuff. Let's, I guess, put this in its own thing and pin it, even though it's pretty simple. think we can keep those. Maybe not. Good. 
Good timing. Well, just feels like we just started soon. I still need to go and retrieve some artillery over here. But that can wait, I guess. Good, and we need some fuel. Oh, we need to name the station first, of course. Station. No, Thames. Should we just... I wasn't very good at that. LDS. Sure, let's just short it. Low density structure. Okay. Empty up time as always. And just get here right away, please. And plug it. So we just need three solids in, and it's quite a lot per second. For our planned amount, at least. At least a lot of aluminium. And I think we are gonna want to scale this at some point, so we're just gonna. Go with big setups, or big stations, I guess. Let's actually unlink that and just do a belt's worth. That's a lot of belts of this in. 13 belts. And that is with productivity, even. Can this take another one of those? Yes, it can. Should start using higher tier assembling machines. So let's upgrade this request. And let's start calculating for that. As the default. And I guess this should become the default as well soon. We're still going to bring a lot of this in. Of all three resources, actually. With the potential to expand even more. Also, I want these to be limited. I did this with a bunch of stations, but not all of them. But it's just too much to have full chests everywhere. Of the stuff. So I really should upgrade the blueprint for that. I'll just change it, I guess, for that limitation. But not right now. The next station we make, maybe, if I remember. Need warehouses. How do we want to do this? We're not gonna do this in one setup in either case, I think. Let's just go in here and have a look. What would seem reasonable? So it's 10 to 1 to 3 or something? No, less. I just want to do this by input. Okay, it manages that itself, okay. That is obviously not a lot of output. Let's 
remove this for now. We need 6.8 just for this. But we also need it for the things, like the satellite and other things. So it's not that expensive for the rockets by themselves. This is almost what we can produce with one belt. But I'm just gonna go with two belts of this in, I guess. Sure, it's a start. Five machines. Hmm. Making way less than a belt. Taking two belts, three belts, four belts. I need some higher tier machines. We need five, should we get six? It's only necessary if we use inserters to output. But when we have so little output, it doesn't really matter anyway. For input, we can't reach the far away belt. No. But we could have the aluminium here and just balance it along the way. Also, it's still easy to power this. If we had even two more belts of aluminium, it's still just one belt of each of those, a third of a belt of output. And it's just less wasted beacons we would end up with, because this still works. And we don't have to have as many at the ends to make sure that the end machines are fully functional. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Can we actually get all three inputs in here? Also, we should just change the angles here to be as efficient as possible. One machine needs 24 per second in. This can't really handle that, can it? Is its hand stack size actually 15? Is that fully upgraded? It's only 12 at the moment, okay. What can I do to... Uh, two revolutions, whatever I want to call it, in a second? Probably. I don't know. Output should be fine. that power over here I guess and this should just stack on top of each other if we want to scale yes So the other four belts are aluminium. Four belts. Every two and a half machines we need to kill a belt. It's 
So starting at the end, we want one belt left for this final part of the setup. Two belts become one, three belts become two, and Four bells become three. Uh, and we still need to balance it in here and just keep the belt. Should be correct, I think. And let's just connect power there. Do we want to actually see it work? I guess we do. Uh, so the inner one is aluminium or titanium no not aluminium plastic or titanium and then we have aluminium and there. And we need to speed it up. And we need 10 effects on each machine. So starting with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not enough. We should also balance these. Even if, it, if they shouldn't fill a full belt, just a balanced belt is always nicer. So the inserters can't keep up with the aluminium. They take too long to fill their hands, of course. So unless we put everything in chests out here, it doesn't work. So alternatively, we need a loader. And I mean, that should be possible, right? At least if we change this slightly. So less than a belt goes into two machines. Prioritize that one, please. As soon as these fill up, we should see stuff get through, except that we probably have sped this up more, more than we wanted. But we are letting stuff through, okay. Because of other things. Oh. We can skimp arms on some of the end machines, I guess, because we have too much beats for the middle ones. 
but that might mean that we actually if we can just drop the last part we can fill one belt into two machines and then just feed them up more Why did I lose some here? I don't know. These belts should not be backing up. And it doesn't look to me like they are. This should also not be backing up, and I don't think it is. This should be 20 point something per second. Okay, I'm good with this. Good. I mean, we could build that like this. That would be the easiest to scale, but I don't actually know how much we need to scale it. We will see, I guess. Take four full belts of this. This is also Ellium. Actually, we should get trains in here. That's a little bit more important. Oh, I didn't update our blue prints for everything need to do that starting with the next outpost as well as everything else. oh the other thing I wanted to change which was the limits on these good let's get some trains in let's get some robots in there Aluminium, plastic, and titanium. We should name the stations. I can spell it LTF, I guess. Oh, yes, sorry. L low density structure. Uh, aluminium. You go get aluminium. Wait. Oh. Here. Yeah. Empty and a time constraint. is plastic 
and titanium. Plastic, full all time. LDS, empty go. Titanium plate. All our time. And LDS, empty go. Good. On what's with the connection of everything. And us putting these so close together is actually slightly annoying. I'm just gonna run these over here. This one would be faster, so that should be plastic. And this is titanium then. Plastic, titanium. Titanium in there. Half a belt only. A full belt of plastic. Power. And then we just wait for the trains, I guess. An output, of course. would also be going over here means that would go there and we can just put this wherever we want and fill good and we need loading Rail, and we probably need other things. No, okay. Good. That's not where it goes. Something like that. Okay. Let's hope the trains get here soon. Aluminium, aluminium is on its way and should be close. This is still far. A little bit closer. Anything we can do while we wait. We could go and grab some better assembling machines, of course. I 
I guess we should stop carrying lower tier assembling machines. And actively get rid of them, even. Good. Anything else? Mm, not that I can think of. Did we get some assembling machines? Yes. Now these are actually pretty expensive. But if that's still a problem, we should really focus on getting more advanced processing units, I guess. Even though we've tried to get rid of that problem for quite a while, but it's still a problem, so we should really do something about it still. Good, everything is here. We're producing. Twelve hundred per minute, is that twenty per second? That sounds about right. Six by twenty is one hundred and twenty by ten is twelve hundred. Yep. It should mean that these spells are empty. Oh, at least are flowing freely, and they are. They're not anymore. Is that a fluke? Because this belt sure seems empty most of the time, if not all the time. And it is exactly one to four. Oh, maybe it's not actually empty all the time. That's just a small restriction, let's not worry about that. Should still settle around 1200. We might lose the 0.7 of the output, but that's okay. Wait, shouldn't this be the actual plastic that we are inputting? I'm pretty sure it should. Good. We have low density structure. And even more of it that, than we wanted, or needed at least. This is done. This is made locally. This will be made locally. 
we might need to increase production of this, but we need to make this elsewhere. Is that still the plan? Because this will be made elsewhere. Otherwise we need to bring in silver zinc batteries and these and these to the same station. And I mean, that's not the worst in the world. But when we actually get to the space extension stuff and need to build all of this, that's going to be very expensive. Do we need to build more than one of each of these? Or do we just need to launch one of each? I would guess it's just one of each, but I'm not particularly sure about that. I guess that's mostly up to us. Is there a way to track it? I guess this will tell us what we need. We need to launch seven satellites first. It would be nice to know beforehand though. I suspect we need more than one of each. And I think that would mean that we make them at outposts. Because they would seem pretty complex. Yep. But we shouldn't need to launch more than seven of these. So making them locally at where we launch them is probably okay. We can even bring in the necessary resources manually. Actually, don't we need... Don't we only get space science from launching satellites still? I would guess we do. I think Helmut had something to say about that. Uh, I think there was another thing saying something similar to this though. This? No. So I can get put a space science pack in the rocket and get a fish, I guess. I seem to remember that's an achievement for putting a fish in there as well, but let's not worry about that. So we do need to make more satellites. And they needed rocket control units, so we should make rocket control units separately. Sure. Um, well, we did talk about these, but I think we agreed we should just export them from where we are currently producing them, at least for now. Until we realize we need to scale a lot up, or yeah, scale up the production a lot. And that's fine. And this is coming in as well, okay. So at least for now it's pretty easy to assemble these. But it's still something we need to do, so let's just get to it, I guess. I will dictate how many I want to produce myself, though. How did this not become the default?
That is still quite a lot of machines. But that's okay, it's less than one belt in. Oh, less than two belts in, I guess. One belt out. So, yeah. That is the plan. We should try and remember to redesign or just make a new blueprint from our station setups. So let's just do that right away. We can. Please kill the worms before they destroy my artillery. Let's not burn my robots. First thing we need a new blueprint of is this, but we need to make this one first. And change this. Just gonna go through all of the different stations here. Stack those. Just do this. Wait, did the focus change? No. If we do this, Oops, let's actually put it in its place. And just have a look if it worked or not. It didn't. Work. of this. Whoops. I would wager. If we just copy that, put there. Use this to remove ghost zone. But then I think we will write the request, but let's just try it anyway. Yes, we do. Okay. I didn't... I didn't actually fix this before taking the new blueprint. I am distracted. Let's get this right first of all. We did this part at least. Okay. This one was good. This one haven't fixed yet. Did we? We did. Let's get a copy of that. Remove that. Put that there. Cut this. 
Put it in there. That should fix it. Almost done. That should be it. Good. We just need two small amount inputs here. I'm gonna do it by robot. Nah, just small amounts. And then an output and start robots. So we want to get some trains in here, but unfortunately that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.